welcome to Group's decorating series for Scuba VBS. In this video, we'll show you how to build a sunken ship that can be a great addition to your scuba set. Download supply list and instructions free at group.com slash VBS tools. Start by building a simple frame. We used a hacksaw to cut sections of PVC pipe. Specific pieces and dimensions can be found on group.com slash VBS tools. We found that it took a few volunteers to hold sections together while we bent and connected each piece of PVC pipe. After assembling the frame, add stability with large sections of cardboard. You'll also use these as the base to mount fun wooden planks to the outside of the ship. Holding up a section of cardboard, make a mark near the top edge of the pipe frame. Now cut it out and use zip ties to attach each section. Use the same method all the way around the frame. Be sure to clip those pesky zip tie tails. Now that the base is done, it's time to build some wooden planks. Cut pieces of cardboard into long strips. Next, cut narrower spacer strips. Specifics can be found in the written instructions on group.com slash VBS tools. Hot glue spacer strips in stacks of three to the bottom back of the plank, about two inches from the edge. Now the planks are ready to decorate. You can paint your planks however you like. Here's how we created ours. We used a combination of rollers and brushes to apply multiple colors of paint that would bring our planks to life. We started with the roller to apply a rough base layer and then used brushes to add the finer details of wood grain. Don't forget to add some knots. Have some fun and get creative with the process. Once all the planks are painted, mount them to the cardboard frame. Using those handy cool connectors, attach them along the top edge of each plank. Start layering the planks from the bottom of the ship moving to the top. You'll want them to overlap by an inch or so. The sides of each plank should also overlap each other by a few inches. If you're big on those little details, here's a tip. Cut small sections off some of the planks and roughen the edges to give the look of a ship that's been on the bottom of the sea for a while. Next, it's time to create the top side rails of the ship walls. Start by cutting out long strips of cardboard about 10 inches wide and mark them long ways into three sections. We found it was helpful to mark and cut out notches that allow the rails to curve along the frame's path. Lightly score the marks. That allows you to fold the rails into a square shape that sits over the top edge of the frame. Add some paint the same way you did the planks. When the paint dries, get ready to attach the rails. Once again, we used our cool connectors to secure the rails in place. Just punch them through both the planks and the cardboard frame. It's finally time for the bow and the cap on the front of the ship. The upright bow piece is made in the same way that the side rails were made. Cut out another long piece of cardboard. Score it so there are three sections, each about four inches wide. Be sure to add a 45 degree angle bend at the top with another cutout for the bow cap. Paint it up with wood texture, then attach it with cool connectors and hot glue. As a later step, we chose to cut out the backside of our ship leaving some of the planks overhanging. With a utility knife and a reciprocating saw, we cut through the cardboard and PVC pipe to open the back up to the rest of the set. This also helped create the look of a ship that had broken apart as it fell to the ocean floor. And there you have it, a sunken ship to make your scuba VBS set really pop. 